Good morning. Uh, this is Pere Ginés. I am a hepatologist. I am a chairman and professor of medicine at the liver unit of the hospital clinic in Barcelona, Catalonia, Spain. I'm going to talk about the uh, Cliff Consortium, which is the uh, uh, a consortium that organized a study on acute and chronic liver failure that has recently been published in gastroenterology. The Cliff Consortium is a consortium of 74 units, liver units, GI units, and internal medicine units of 24 countries around Europe and is endorsed by the European Association for the Study of the Liver. The objectives of the Cliff Consortium is to perform research in order to improve our understanding on the pathogenesis of the progression of chronic liver diseases and on the development of complications of cirrhosis. The canonic study was the first study of the Cliff Consortium and it was performed in the centers of the Cliff and we were able to enroll approximately 1,300 uh, 1, patients in only nine months. So this indicates that the effort made by all the centers included in the canonic study was very important and they, they were all very dedicated to uh, perform this study. Uh, good morning. My name is uh, Richard Moreau. I'm chairman of a research center in uh, France which is uh, under the umbrella of the French NIH and the University of Paris. I'm also consultant in the liver unit at Beaujon Hospital from uh, Paris Hospital. And finally, I am the principal investigator of the canonic study which has been performed in the context of the Easel Cliff uh, Consortium. Acute decompensation is uh, main cause of hospitalization in, in cirrhosis. Some patients with uh, acute decompensation develop organ failure and are considered to have acute and chronic liver failure, referred to as ACLF. However, there are no clear diagnostic criteria for ACLF and therefore the natural history of ACLF is poorly known. This is why we conducted a large European multicenter uh, uh, observational uh, study aimed to identify diagnostic criteria of ACLF and the natural history of this syndrome. And we found that approximately 30% of patients hospitalized for an acute decompensation had ACLF. These patients had a 30% mortality compared to only 2% mortality in patients without ACLF. The Cliff Consortium is probably the major collaborative research effort that has been ever performed in Europe in the research of liver diseases. We are not going to stop here af and after the canonic study we will perform approximately 30 ancillary studies in order to increase our understanding on the mechanism that lead to acute and chronic liver failure in patients with cirrhosis. In addition to that, we will perform also several randomized studies to evaluate new methods of therapy in the complications of cirrhosis. So I think that uh, uh, mm, features like uh, the Cliff Consortium will help to improve our knowledge on the complications of cirrhosis and at the end will help to improve the care of our patients and improve the quality of life of the patients with cirrhosis and improve the survival.